Good morning, it is a brand new day. Time to start the car up and get this day kick started. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. Let's see what I can do about this. Oh my, locks and stuff, they don't work when my car's died. Okay, there, got that open. Luckily, I have this portable jump starter here. Let's see if this can bring my car back to life. This is what it looks like right now. There's some kind of a noise coming from inside here. Not sure what that is, but let's just connect this up here. Red goes to red, black goes to black. Okay, and then it should just crank up here. All right, here's the moment of truth. Okay, maybe I just gotta let it sit there for a little bit longer. Let the juices run through it. No, nothing yet. This isn't a good sign. It's good to have something like this in the car, just in case. You're stranded in the middle of nowhere and have no way to have somebody give you a jump start. This is looking a little bit more ambitious. I got 97% on the battery. Got this all hooked up. This side's got a little bit of stuff building up on it. Better pour some soda or something to clear that out later on. Let's give this a crank up and see how it goes. All right. Will it start? Ooh, that's not good. That is not good. It's still not starting. I wonder what it could be. Like, hmm. All right, so I repositioned the cables there on the battery. Still no crank up. Hmm. What could it be? some buzzing for quite some time the buzzing stopped still have my starter on here interestingly this dropped down to 49% now okay I'm gonna give it a crank up again and see what happens nothing still nothing I might have to call somebody to give me a jump here this has come out let's see if his works better It sounds like it's clicking, but nothing. Okay, let me try again. Okay. I've got a second one. Let me get the second one. Yes, sir. One that he's using right now. It's hitting. It's hitting hard. Yes, sir. Let's see if that does it. Give it a turn. Yeah, All right, just let me know. All right. All right. Oh my gosh, it worked. <laughs> wow. That was a lot of power that we had to put on there. Yeah. It was completely dead. Thank you, sir. So that's kind of interesting. Now that I got it fired up, he said I'd let it run for a while. But I've noticed that there's a lot of lights that are on in my gauge cluster that weren't on before. All these lights here, the check engine light, the brake light, the traction control light, all these lights aren't usually on. So that's not a good sign. I wonder if it did something to trip the computers in the vehicle. The people that got out here and jump-started my car, I contacted my insurance company. Nationwide is 
a good company. They have the emergency roadside assistance program that I pay a little bit into every single month. I think it's like $10 a month or something to have them come give me a jump start if my car ever dies. Have me fill up with gasoline if I ever run out of gasoline. It's good to have some kind of roadside assistance so that you don't have to call your neighbor for a jump start or be stranded on the side of the road. It's good to think ahead. So the vehicle is driving, it is running, but it is good to know that on a dead battery, an absolutely 0% capacity there is no way to jump start this vehicle with a small portable jump starter. That guy had two of those huge jump starters to jump start this vehicle. Maybe it's better to start carrying around a pair of jumper cables in the car. Sweet. So after just letting my car idle and sit here for about 20 minutes while I was eating my lunch, the lights have all gone off except for my brake light here, which should be on. So yeah, I can turn off that brake light like this. So that's good to know. Just letting your car idle sometimes will get those lights to turn off. 